In the previous video, we installed a new radiator and uh, we fixed our CAC and then also put together the entire radiator and CAC and fan assembly. In this video, we will install a aux pusher fan as well as made uh, a bracket for the AC condenser. We also did some miscellaneous work for the cooling system. Look, now all the coolant have been drained. And I thought it might be a good time to change the thermostat as well. So here's the old one. Looks like this. Um, I'd say it's in okay shape. It's not terrible. But it's uh, time to change for a new one anyway. So I put some grease on these two O-rings and ready to drop in now. Oh, guess what? This is actually a new thermostat. Look at these dates. It's 0621. I think that means um, June of uh, 2021. And that's uh, only a year ago. I am at uh, November of 22. So it's only a little bit over a year old. <laughs> it turns out it's unnecessary to change this, but well, it's out and uh, I'm gonna change that anyway. It probably was changed uh, last year when i had the cooling system flushed and they probably changed this but yeah anyway it doesn't hurt to get a new one well this is the first startup after the fix i have filled the uh, the coolant with just the plain water and then some rust has changed uh, all the stuff are ready and radiator hooked up all the hoses are hooked up on this side as well as on this side and it looks like there is no no obvious leak as of now let's get it started and see how it does there we go Looking good. And it's still no obvious leak. I'll get it running for a while and see how it goes. So I also replaced this hydraulic oil. Uh, what you need to do is loosen this bolt and another bolt on the inside here. And then this whole cap can lift off. And then there's a wing nut. You lose that and there's three filters inside this and you can easily replace that. And once you are done, just to put the clamp back on, I have filled the oil all the way up. Yeah, I'll check later. Right now, it should be at this level. But since I drained the oil in the hydraulic fan, it might go down a little bit more. And uh, I'll check again once I started the engine. And this is the oil being used as the transmit as the hydraulic oil, the O'Reilly's Dextron 6. It's relatively cheap. So here, the original mounting for this AC cooler condenser, if you will, is to use the radiator clips uh, through this hole here you can see and several other holes like here and other places and then going through the CAC on the back side so the problem with that is well I just can't reach the back of the CAC because there is a radiator behind the CAC so there is no way I can uh, disassemble and reassemble. In other ways, unless I take off the entire assembly, there is no way I can remove just the condenser. Or I can remove the condenser, but I cannot put it back. Uh, what I need to do right now is to put a bracket both on the top of the CAC, there are several bolts, and then um, trying to make an elbow here, and then use a bolt through this hole. So it'll be like this and then hand in using these brackets. One on here, and one on the other side, and then another two on the bottom. 
uh, it's it's relatively simple, but the alignment is the key. I need to find the right angle and the right planks for it. So let's see. I have bent it a little bit, so it will be in this angle. It grilled the first hole, made the first bracket, this will bolt on top, and then this one will be on the condenser. See how it fits right through? This uh, this is a thread and there is a lip here. It just goes right through. Yeah, feels good. Let's see how it works when it's on. So I need to hook this up. I put a number eight bolt through this hole and then somehow fit that in there. here I have mounted the first bracket it is a little bit uh, uh, I probably need to get a little bit closer to the CIC like this way probably be better um, yeah I, anyway I will adjust other other brackets so it it's uh, like fitting tightly onto the CAC. But anyway, for now it will be fine. And this thing you see here uh, is for an external pusher fan. Uh, you will know what is this later. I'll put it on later. I'll explain everything after it's on there. So other side is bolted and this side have to use a change of plan. As you can see other side it's sticking out. I can use a bolt on the back side and on this side the back side is a fin, so there's no way I put a bolt on. So I put a self-tapping screw and gotta make sure it only goes to these things, not to these tubes. As you can see right here, it's pretty far away from the tube. It's, uh, yeah, it's not gonna go through these tubes, otherwise you'll have a big problem. Okay, so we go through here first and then this need two person. Yeah, I have her lift it up for me. And this is aligned. So now I gotta screw that in. Don't over tighten this. I think I might strip it a little bit, but it's okay. It's still holding it. But make sure just uh, snug is fine. And then two top ones are down the Next thing to do with the bottom bracket should go like this and um, somehow it will fold over here. Uh, you gotta figure out a way to do that. We have three of the legs on. Uh, looks like uh, they need to be adjusted a little bit. Mm, you can see it doesn't quite align here. Might need to instead of put it together with the bracket I should have it independent, like to here, and then this might be able to keep, and this probably put it in here. Now let's see. Brackets here, brackets here, fan bracket, fan bracket, and uh, condenser bracket, condenser bracket, and the fan wire. Now, uh, obviously, I need to uh, clear the the cable a little bit. But I'll zip that this later. So for now, the fan is here, and then I will go and uh, hook up the the power, and you shall see it turning on.
the fuse just blown. I used a 10 amp fuse. Looks like it might be a little bit small. Let's see if I have 15 or maybe a 20. Okay, I don't have 15, but 20 will do for now. I should change that to 15 later. So 20 is definitely enough. If 20 is not enough, then somewhere had a uh, short circuit. But we see that uh, was turning earlier. This on here. It's 20 amp. All right. Go see if that's shoot the fan out, and I will control in the back. There you go. Blowing uh, very hard. Lots of air. And this will be an always on once I turn the key on. Yeah, now this part of the job is done. So this part of the radiator is mostly done. All the lines are checked. The brackets down, wires hooked up. The resting is to put the cover and the grill on. So there we go. Well, after more than a month now, this is finally put together. Let's see what we have here. Uh, there is a uh, air guide right there, and another one on the other side. The one on the bottom, uh, you probably can't see, but yeah, it was bolted right here. And then this grill installs with those three screws on each side onto this fiberglass cap, and it just clears the fan here. It was a perfect size. I measured it and uh, yeah, it was perfect. So yeah, we are very close to the end. I need to clean up the hoses in the backside as well.